Sean Spicer targets own staff in leak crackdown. Press Secretary Sean Spicer is cracking down on leaks coming out of the West Wing, with increased security measures that include random phone checks of White House staffers, overseen by White House attorneys. Last week, after Spicer became aware that information had leaked out of a planning meeting with about a dozen of his communications staffers, he reconvened the group in his office to express his frustration over the number of private conversations and meetings that were showing up in unflattering news stories. According to sources in the room, Spicer, who consulted with White House counsel Don McGahn before calling the meeting, was accompanied by White House lawyers in the room. According to multiple sources, Spicer also warned the group of more problems if news of the phone checks and the meeting about leaks was leaked to the media. During a recent staff meeting, Spicer harshly criticized some of the work Deputy Communications Director Jessica Ditto had done, causing her to cry. According to two people familiar with the incident, the only time Jessica recalls almost getting emotional is when we had to relay the information on the death of Chief Ryan Owens. Spicer said, referring to the Navy SEAL killed recently in action in Yemen. Spicer declined to comment about the leak crackdown. The campaign to sniff out a series of damaging leaks, which Spicer is convinced originated from his communications department, has led to a tense environment in the West Wing. Spicer was particularly incensed by the leaks last week that Michael Dubk had been tapped as the new White House communications director, a hire that became public before it was officially announced. It has not been lost on senior White House officials that Spicer is overseeing an overwhelmed press office, where work often begins just after 6 a.m. and ends close to midnight. To some degree, the challenge Spicer and other press aides face is unique. They are working for a president who takes an unusually intense interest in the work his communications office does. Later on Friday, Spicer blocked certain media, including CNN, The New York Times, BuzzFeed and Politico from attending an off-camera press briefing in his office. Spicer blocked certain media, including CNN, The New York Times, BuzzFeed and Politico, from attending an off-camera press briefing in his office.